Hey, what's up everybody? I am back with the second part of the Gerber Bear Grylls Survival Series uh, knife review series that I'm doing. And as I said at the end of the last video, this one is going to be on the Gerber Bear Grylls Survival Series folding sheath knife. There it is. Um, and it comes with this sheath, which is awesome. Um, and so let's open it up here. There you go, first look. Uh, first of all, serious knife. This is some, uh, I need to zoom out a little bit for when I open this actually. This is a survival knife. <laughs> you could do a lot with this knife. So, yep, there we go. Wow. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> um, first looks there. You know, very similar to the Compact Scout. It's got the bear signature on it. Um, black and orange theme. There's the BG color did not wear off on this knife because it is a very grippy rubber handle, which is awesome. And they got some jimping up there. It feels great in the hand. Anyway, let's go over some basics first. Overall length is 8.5 inches. The blade length is 3.6 inches, so you got a good size blade there. Once again, similar to the Compact Scout, half serrations. Let's keep that one open just for comparisons there. So, you know, very similar. Uh, the weight with the sheath is 5.3 ounces. Without the sheath is 4.3 ounces. So, you know, a little heavy, but look at the size. And this is a true survival knife, in my opinion. You've got thumb studs on both sides. No pocket clip. Um, because you have the sheath. Obviously you could just, it's got a belt loop on the back of the sheath there for you. Um, once again, take another cue from the Compact Scout, lock back. So I have no problems with that like I said. The lanyard hole in this one is bigger. You can fit 550 through this, um, which is awesome. Now the first thing I want to talk about, I mentioned it a little bit a couple minutes ago, not a couple minutes ago, probably like 30 seconds ago, um, <laughs> is the handle. Very, very nice, grippy rubber handle. Feels awesome. And it's got the jimping on top of that, so you're not going to, you're not going to drop this knife, and it's going to feel good in your hands. And it's got the thumb groove there, once again, similar to the Compact Scout, so this just feels great in your hand. And you could do some serious work with this if you bring this out in the woods and you're in a survival situation. Or even if you just bring it with you when you're hiking or backpacking or camping. Um, it's it, it could serve you very well. Now, let me see what else I want to talk about. So this comes with the sheath. They both come with a pocket survival guide. Um, a Bear Grylls pocket survival guide. I don't have that with me, so I can't show you. But a little cool addition. I don't know if anybody would actually bring it with them. You know, it's cool. So, now, once again, similar to the Compact Scout, this knife is insanely sharp. And I would assume that it's the same blade steel because it's from the same series made by the same knife company. I'm not saying that knife companies use all the same steel, but uh, it's it it seems like it's the same. They don't once again they don't specify the specific knife steel. And once again, if anybody knows, drop it down in the comments down that way. Um, but very sharp, very similar to the Compact Scout. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Yes, I've been using this knife a lot, uh, bringing it out in the woods and. This is actually my friend Brian's knife, and he bought it, and he loves it, and the price on this is amazing. Once again, um, like I said in the last video, I get my knives off Amazon because that tends to be where you can find them the cheapest. This on Amazon is $20.50, which in my opinion is a ridiculously good price for a knife of this size and of this quality, and once again, um, like I said in my last video on the Compact Scout, you would think that because it has the Bear Grylls name attached to it and it's got the little signature on the blade there, that it would be more expensive. It's not. Um, they're both drop points, forgot to mention, but you can see that. 
Um, I like that. And let me just do a quick, a quick drive by or whatever we would call it of the blade close to the camera so you can see it very well. There you go, there's some close-ups for you. So yeah, as far as the lock-up, lock-back, like I said, extremely sturdy, little bit of a movement going back and forth, that's, that's fine, you know, that, that doesn't bother me. Um, extremely strong, well put together knife. Uh, I love, love, love that they did the rubber handle. And yeah, I mean, basically that's it. Can't say much bad about this knife. Um, this would not necessarily be an EDC knife. I personally would not carry this around in my EDC. I would use this more for bringing out when I'm hiking, backpacking, camping, fishing, anything in the outdoors, that's where I would bring this. Just attach it to my belt. Uh, it's a little big, a little bit heavy for an EDC. Um, overall, I'm actually surprised they kept the weight down on this. The, the weight, uh, 4.3 ounces, did I say? Yeah, 4.3 ounces. That's, in my opinion, that's a good weight for a knife of this size and of this quality build with this rubber handle and everything that it has. I think that's great. However, uh, like I said, I wouldn't necessarily use this in my EDC. There's a lot of other knives that are better suited, in my opinion, remember this is all my opinion, for, um, for an EDC roll. So yeah. That's about it. Gerber Bear Grylls Survival Series Folding Sheath Knife. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, like the last video, uh, I'll put the link to it on Amazon down below. Um, so you can check it out if you want to. $20.50, good price. Um, Gerber lists it at $42.50 uh, list price. So you get a lot of money off on that, which is good. And that's about it. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments. And I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.